Hi everybody, it's Cory at the Reset Girl. I am here to do a very exciting video for you. It is the premiere of the summer edition of the Crafty Club Playbook. So I wanted to do a little flip through for you. I wanted to talk about the playbook. If you have not gotten yourself one um, so far this year, I wanted to kind of give you an idea of like what you can do in it why it is so amazing and I wanted to show you some of the accessories and things that we do to support getting the playbooks because for us this is not just a product that we sell this is like there's a whole like community built around this we do live shows kits but I'm getting ahead of myself so first I just want to talk about the playbook itself and give you some um, some details so this is a printable letter sized book eight and a half by eleven and it's printable. So you would print this on your own, or you can take it to a office store and have them print it for you. You can also bind it any way you want. I like to um, use my disc bound so you can see the cover. I've already punched it for the disc. Every edition comes with the same exact cover. So whether you join in in the fall or do the spring, they all have the same cover and it says collect all four seasonal inserts. So the cover's the same, the inserts are different. So we kind of switch things up and trying to give you like a seasonal approach to each of the editions. Um, so that's three months of content in each edition. So I wanted to do a little flip through for you. Uh, the cover is a separate file when you purchase it. So what you'll get is this little stack of papers once it's printed. I have my little uh, little greeting message to you, and then we have the little page where you would put this playbook belongs to and add your name. There is a little intro um, page that always features a spread of honeys and a quick little journaling prompt um, somewhere on the page. We have our little story for the season. So here is the story about summer. And then you get an opportunity to write a letter to summer. What you hope to get out of summer, what your plans are, all the things that you can possibly think of. Whatever you want to do here, you can do Dear Summer. Um, and then we have for you this time, we have a fun summer bucket list. So here are our suggestions of fun little things you can do for summer, which I love this. I think this is so cute. Um, cute enough, like you could totally cut this out too, like make another copy of it and have it cut out. It's adorable. And then here's your summer highlight. So this is what you actually did. <laughs> These are the suggestions and this is what you actually did. And if it's a very short list for a lot of us, because for a lot of people, it's just work, work, work. But I hope that that is not what it is for you. I hope that you do get a chance to do some fun things this summer, including crafting doing creative exercises. I know for a lot of us, we're going to be putting, we went to Camp Wanna Craft. That will be one of our big summer highlights. So here is the little bucket list and highlights page. This time around, um, we decided to do kind of like a whole big board. And so this is your little playground to do a collage. So glue down every summary thing you can think of. So glue down photos, pictures from the internets, you can use stickers, die cuts from your, your uh, scrapbook collections. Just blow this all out and make it super fun in summary with whatever you want to do. It's a great way to use up your stash. Then we are back to dressing the honeys. This is what we debuted with back in the winter was having the girls. And then you could uh, color their outfits in, add scrapbook paper, which is my favorite technique. I loved these so much. I'm, I'm happy to have them back for the summer. And then we have, um, this is a documented page that you'll get in every month and it is a way for you to kind of document some of your activities that are more your craft life that is documented you also have some little prompts here documenting making journaling listing watching dreaming planning reading decorating so you'd fill this out every month what you're obsessed with who you're inspired by what your thoughts are for the month what you used from your stash and then you have these little trackers here on the side so we filled in two of them for you got your my crafty on got my self-care on so you would just fill in the day of the, the date of the month that you actually completed some of those activities and then you have two blank ones here for you to fill in whatever you want to track whether that's how you're eating exercising what you're watching how many times I use one of them for how many times I call my mom I like to keep track of um, how keeping on top of like how often I'm calling her because we live apart so I want to make sure that I'm checking in with her periodically that's how I use one of them but you can you have two to do whatever you wish 
The next um, page is your listing page. So here's a fun little page. We have done some of the decorating for you, but you can embellish further. So we're going to document places I went, things I'm doing this month, read or watch this month, my done list this month, recording the things that weren't on your to-do list, but that you actually completed is a very satisfying feeling, <laughs> Pro uh, crafty projects that you're working on next, what's on my mind, ways I showed myself love, what I'm buying. So these are fun little ways of like listing um, through some like practical parts of life. Um, that's kind of fun to look back on. And then we have the classic Crafty Club Playbook Bingo card. I love this card so much. So this in itself is a way of prompting you to do different activities in your book. It's a way to help you like jump in because you can pick something here to use as a prompt to get you to go um, and get, it, get something filled in. So for instance, um, we have, let's see late night crafty club. So just for attending a late night crafty club, watching a late night crafty club, you can go ahead and check yourself off on this one. Then you have um, things like the word hunt, which is right here. So once you complete your word hunt, you can check that off. Uh, journaling time, a self-care time, using your stickers, the fact that you shared one of your spreads or a page posted in the club, um, or you can just post in the club. That counts too. Doing something out of your crafty comfort zone. So trying a new technique on the art journaling pages. Um, there's stamp loving. That's using your stamps. So I am very like, I give myself a lot of leeway with these things so that I can fill mine in really quick. And we, um, uh, it, it's one of my goals. It's kind of like the pretty much the first thing I dive into when starting a new month is like, where can I start checking off things? So then we have an activity. Every month there's a new activity. In the month of July, you'll be doing a word hunt, which is based on summertime fun. Then here are the gratitude pages. Every month there's a spread of cute little shapes or icons that you're going to fill in with something you're grateful for that day. So there are 31 days in July, so I have 31 popsicles, and I'm going to fill them in each daily. Then... Um, in July, which is the very first month of our whole playbook, um, we made a little change to how we were doing it for the last two seasons. Instead of making two spreads per week, we are now down to one page per week. I was kind of feeling like having two pages to work on every week was a little overwhelming on top of all the other little activities in the month. And I felt like, like even for me, I kind of like have to push myself a lot harder to get two of them done. So I felt like I'm going to, I wanted to kind of dial that down and not make it feel so overwhelming. So now you'll just be doing one page per week of art journaling, which can be any fun little activity, pulling out your stash, collaging, spreading some paint around, adding quotes. Um, I can show you additional examples of things I've done at the end of our video. And then we have week three and week four. And then this month, we're doing something different. We are actually adding in our challenges. So you can choose to do the Faithful Life Challenge, or you can choose to do the Lister's Got a List Challenge. You have eight spots, and these are large enough that like a journal card will fit in here nicely. So you can add a journal card and do your listing there and add the prompt. You get to choose eight prompts of either of the challenges and complete these spots. You can write directly on the page or you can go ahead and embellish with a journal card on top of it. So you can kind of pick or choose. This way you're getting like a little bit of a, um, a little feel for a challenge or you can use this area for other things of, that you wish. You can record um, like a, almost like a commonplace book. You can record quotes in here, song lyrics. You can decorate them any way you wish. So you don't have to use one of our challenges to be the basis of this. You can um, do something different. And then we have the memory keeping spread. So we've kind of done some of the work for you because I have found that by doing memory keeping on a blank page, is, especially when you're new to memory keeping can be very daunting. So we've kind of done some of the preliminary work to make it fun for you. So here you just add your photo and this is like a three by four spot. So you can do a two by three or a three by four photo and then talk a little bit about what's going on in the photo. And then over here you're getting four spots to do the same thing. 
So you can take pictures of like your summer highlights if you wanted to. And then every month we switch up these spreads. So then we move on to August. So here's our new honeys for the August. Here's our new craft life documented page. And then you are getting another spread of the listing in August. And then you have the crafty club bingo again, um, switched up some of the prompts and we have a new little sweet girl here. Her name is Hannah and you're going to help her get to her water bottle. It's hot out there. So she's going to be sip, sip, sipping. So it's a maze, which we've done in every edition so far. Um, we've helped Jasmine get to her washi rings and we helped Sammy reach her goal back in the winter. So, um, then we have our gratitude spread for August, which are a bunch of delicious little cups of things to sip. And you will use these little spots to fill in. Um, then we have our art journaling, four of those, another round of uh, challenge spots to do the challenges like listing, or you can do the, um, the faithful life, or you can do your commonplace kind of activity in here. Here is another memory keeping spread. So you have the main photo here and then four little highlights here. And then we go on to September, another three girls, and we go through the listing, a new bingo card. And this month we're going to be making a washi ring. So making strips of washi to make it look as if you have them all on your Reset Girl washi ring, which for me looks like this. So you are kind of emulating this look here <laughs> on, your, on your little paper washi ring. In September, you have the little notepads to do all of your, your journaling, and then you have the um, art journaling spreads again, and another round of the listing and then here is the final memory keeping spread and this completes the whole summer edition so i am super excited i love all the bright delicious colors for this it is so super yummy in addition to this you're also going to be getting some accessories that come with it that i keep here in my little handy um, divided little file folder so these are the prompts that you're going to be using for the um, art journaling. So when you get to those pages, you'll notice that there is a little spot where you can paste the prompt here. This will sit right on top of it and cover up the dotted line so you won't even see those at all. So you have two sheets of them. I usually print these on sticker paper so that I can just like snip and then press down. So we have all of these to choose from. Then you also get this Crafty Club page checklist. This is based on something that I do for myself because when I start, if I get behind, I like to keep track of what I have to do to complete that month. So I made myself a list of like where I had um, missed pages in April and where I was behind in May. This is something I did recently to, to finish up my, my spring edition. So I've been checking them off as I complete them, and it really helps me see at a glance where I'm at. So we decided to make one for you and include that in the playbook for the summer. So you can do the same thing as you finish a page, whether that's an activity page or your art journaling, whatever that is, you would just go through here and check everything off. So you'll notice that you have like an overview for the summer, and then it breaks down into the months. Um, all the different activities. Another thing that we created for you is these little bingo checklists. The way that I completed my bingo pages is how we is, is what we did to kind of like base this on is I really, really, really love filling in my bingo card. I don't like just check them off, but I like to cover them up with actual little um, squares or stickers. I like to get creative in how I fill these in. And um, I loved this so, so much. And But what happens is, is the prompts get covered up and so you lose track of what you've done. So we created these little checklists. This was actually a freebie you could get for showing up to a live event. So we also have them, if you have the spring edition, you can go back and purchase. They're a small little fee for um, the checklists for spring. They're in our store. And then we made them, included them in the Crafty Club playbook for the summer. So you get um, bingo prompts, 
are listed for every single month, you would trim these out just like I did here and punch it and then add it to your spread so you can keep track of what you completed. When I say that we do these, um, these are all what, what's included with the book. And then it, what I mentioned before about having a freebie. So some of the things that, um, that I like to do for initiatives that I roll out, including the playbook, is create a lot of support. So with this playbook, I have really loved um, kind of wrapping some of our live events around the playbook and that would give you the feeling like you were crafting with your friends crafting with me that you had accountability you had someone that was kind of helping you and encouraging you to pull out your book and work in it so rather than just sell a book and like set you free on your own I have kind of built a whole program of events around it to help like make you feel like you have a friend to craft with. And I think that's really important, essential, and sets us apart from other brands because the playbook isn't just a product, like I said earlier, it's it's part of our community. And so the whole point of it is to help us, give us a, a springboard to kind of like test new techniques in, try different things, get really confident with our crafting. And so one of the things that um, I have done for this book is to kind of, um, is to create, like, there's three different live events that I do for this playbook. Um, and the first one is the Late Night Crafty Club. So that has been my signature show for a long time I've done that. And I have recently, like this year when we launched it, every Late Night Crafty Club centers around the playbook. So it's your opportunity to sit there with us for a couple hours, it is a long format show. It can go anywhere from two to four hours long, believe it or not. It is always on a Friday night when we host it. In general, we have about one to two shows a month, depending on what is going on during Camp Wanna Craft. We have like four of them, three of them, I believe, during camp. So I kind of step it up, but I always make sure that there's a public event that all the Reset community can participate in, whether you are in camp or not. And... During one of those shows, like one time per month, we offer a freebie as our gift to you, as a thank you, as, you know, our way of saying thanks for participating in the Late Night Crafty Club. Coming to a live event is really important to me. I don't want to sit there by myself crafting. So I love when people show up. We always have a full house. It's so much fun. There's a chat room that you can participate in. And we started making a freebie for one show a month where just for showing up, you can get something to craft with in your book. So when, um, one month we decided to do in March, we decided to do these fun bingo markers, which are based on the way that I was filling in my bingo pages like this with these fun little squares. So I do use these. You can see them right here on the page. They're right here. Um, I love them. I love how they're mixed matched. If you have a little one inch square punch, you can also replicate this as well. So this is one of the little fun freebies that we did. We've also done another freebie. These were the late night, uh, crafty club flash cards. This was our May freebie. I've used one here. I cut it out, but these are these fun little flash cards that are based on being what it's like to be in our community and something you can use in your, um, book. So the other show that we have is called Crafternoon with Corey. It is a Saturday afternoon show. It's a short format, one to two hours. It's for people that are, it's less chatty. It's way more about just crafting, like jumping in, crafting away. I've talked for maybe about 10 minutes the first part of the show, and that's it. The Late Night Crafty Club can be very long and chatty. Crafternoon with Corey are for those people who just want to like jump in, craft, be done. So it's a Saturday afternoon, which is really helpful for those who are international people or have to work on weekend nights so they have a chance to watch it. All of our live events always have a replay available. All live events always have a replay available. So if you miss a live event, you can always watch the replay. We put replays up on my YouTube channel and we leave them in the group in whatever Facebook group they were aired into. They're also left there for you to watch. Finally, our newest addition to the event, um, the events that we host are the Playbook Power Hours. These are spontaneous shows. I pop them up as I 
can, and they can last anywhere from an hour to three hours. And this Playbook Power Hour was born out of the, the desire to help us all finish our spring edition playbook strong. So I wanted to make sure that like if you were behind in spring like I was, you know, and you can tell from my card, this is, there's no shame in that. And there's no, if you are in a busy month and you just can't keep up, you can always catch up. You have three months, right? In a, in an addition. So you have time to like catch up in other areas. So the playbook power hour is my way of helping you catching up. So, so far I've already done like two shows, I believe to do that, which I managed to get a lot done. These are all the things I checked off in my, in my playbook power hours. And some of my best work I've ever done in my uh, book was done during a power hour. So I love doing them. I love doing that for you guys. It helps you, you know, be accountable and get yourself done, done. I want you to have a nice, big, fat, fluffy book at the end of the year to look at. So I, it's my joy to do that for you guys. And so it will make you feel supported. Again, this is not just a product. This is something for all of us to enjoy and have fun. It's like a grown up girls activity book. So we do offer a really um, great um, tool, a resource for you. If you um, want to join our texting program, you can text TRG to 94253. And it will ensure that you get on our list and then you'll get a reminder before the live event starts. And at this time, it's only available for our U.S. members. I, it's unfortunately not available for international message. Data rates do apply, but it is so awesome. People really love it. I joined it myself just to see if it, you know, how it works. And it's great. It goes out and reminds you, hey, there's going to be a live show in case it's really easy to forget. We get very caught up in things. So... Um, I wanted to do a also a quick little show and tell of another thing that we do for our um, playbook is we have these like additional little kits that you can buy. Um, it's the playbook accessories kit. This is the newest one. It's kit volume three. These kits are like I I art direct them. I re, I want every single thing in them to be exactly the way that it is because it's based on my personal crafting style. It's based on like my preferences, which is why we have this little designation on them that says Corey favorites so that, you know, these are like, these are things I use all the time. Our little playbook kits are like just a couple, like a few little pages. So they're very um, small, but this is the stuff I use constantly. I just love it. And a lot of people ask me, for, you know, my stuff, they want stuff that I do in my book. So this was sort of like our response to that. If you see me crafting something, I've kind of given those elements or pieces to our, you know, the, um, our graphic designer who then can turn them into something amazing for you to use as well. So this, um, this time around this playbook kit is going to have this super fun collection of yearbook, vintage yearbook photos. These also fit in the bingo marker spots, but you can use them in your crafting, which I absolutely love using vintage yearbook photos in my crafting. It's so much fun. We also have these fun little Polaroids that feature different girls. And again, another thing that I super am obsessed with. And so these are super fun. These are more like real girls versus like the honeys that we normally do. And then these are my, I mean, oh, I can't even tell you how much I love these. This is so, so, so me. This is exactly how I decorate. I group and cluster my little layering circles together. I love using the little stamping elements, making it look like there's some like odd kind of like references, like stamping from textbooks or um, like a dictionary. I, this is exactly what I do in my, um, in, in my craft style. And then there's this awesome mix of like my favorite little flowers are all blended in here. I would say this right here is like Corey on a sheet of all the different things I do. This is something I would do, like do these by hand. I love layering circles. I have <laughs> sheets and sheets of them. 
here at my desk. Like they're just like my favorite, favorite, favorite thing to decorate with. And if you watched, if you watched my layering 101 videos in Camp Wanna Craft, this is the this is exactly what I taught you how to do is is to create these types of clusters and layer the circles together. So this is an example of the type of like fun little kits that we put together for the playbook. So our playbooks are very loved, very supported. It's not something that you'll just buy and run off with. We have we have a whole thing. So we I do have on my YouTube channel, I do have a flip through of my finished winter edition. And I will be doing a flip through of my finished spring edition as soon as I have um, technically finished it. But I did wanna show you a couple pages um, of what I had done with my art journaling. So for like the first week of April when this was a brand new spring edition playbook, these are the kinds of pages that I was making using the prompt, which you see here. And here's another prompt. And then there's a little bit of journaling on each page. I had done this um, as well. These were things I did in a late night crafty club. And I sometimes go back and add the journaling after the fact rather than do it while I'm on the on the live. So here is an is a place where I did some of the um, my journaling was actually in a little hidden card. Here's where I did it here. And then I have, for Binge Worthy, I did a little page dedicated to The Office, which to me is like my most binge, binged TV show, hands down. Um, I just dated a piece of ledger and started listing out the episodes with a picture of Michael Scott. So uh, this is something I did during a power hour, and I absolutely love this. This is one of my favorite pages I've done. I, I just love it so much. It doesn't have any journaling added to it right now. And, and I might not add the journaling, to be honest with you. I, I think it, I love it so much. It tells a little story in my head and I, I don't really feel I need it. Here's an example of how I did my memory keeping in April. I picked highlights. Uh, April was a huge month for me. I got to go to Tokyo, Japan and my sweet baby girl, she turned 28 years old, which just blows my mind. Um, I also got to spend time with my mom as well as going on that Japan trip. So I did a little, um, a, a very simple, I kept it simple. This is what was on the page. I didn't add any other embellishment, but you certainly can. Here's one of the pages I have to finish, but we have these dress the girl. So you complete the photo, the little drawing, coloring it in, adding clothes to her. Here's something I smashed in. It's a little uh, vintage book um, page and it says, it's a little quote that I just came up with on my own. She loved an icy drink while crafting in her air conditioned studio. That would probably be the story of my life right here. That's, that's my happy place right here. <laughs> so um, here's how I finished my documented. Here are my lists for, um, this is my list for the, for May. And then I have my bingo and how I completed the bingo then, which you can see, I still have a few spots, which just drive me crazy. So um, but I am not done with this this edition. I'm still working on it, so there's still chances. Um, there's my gratitude, and then here is on into the next um, section, which I completed these uh, on my last power hour that I did. Another favorite layout is this one. This one, I mean, there's just so much goodness. I actually added the journaling to this right before I turned the camera on. This is probably one of the best and simplest layouts I've ever done. Loved it so much. But I would never have known like I could do creative things like this and take chances and do interesting layouts. And like these are girls from a catalog and I wouldn't have ever even done anything like that had I not had the playbook. It's really kind of pushed me, it's inspired me, it's really like helped me and all, and all I did was start from a page like this. So using the prompts have been very helpful. Um, in this case, the prompt, I trimmed it down, but it was blackout. And I love to decorate first and then put the prompt on the page. And oftentimes I will find the perfect prompt. In this case, I found the perfect prompt to describe this whole blacked out. And then I told a little story of, of what it was like to have a blackout in my own life. And then um, 
I continue continue forward so you can see I have to do the memory keeping here for the month of May which was my birthday month so I will probably um, add a photo for that and then here's another dress the girl that I need to finish here's my smashed um, page for this month it was one of the bingo prompts so I made this fun little um, page from a library an old library book and a hunk which we now have hunks in the store and then onward into June, you can see I'm not completed yet with my bingo, but I did help Jasmine find her washi ring. So I was, I was productive. Here is my gratitude, which I'm up to date on. And then here is me. Um, this was a late night crafty club, I believe, um, that I managed to do. Usually with late night crafty club, I managed to do about two pages because I, we chat so much and have fun and talk. So I average about two, but a power hour, I'm like doing, I think, I feel like I've done like two to four pages in a power hour. Um, not that that's, that it's really all an hour, but so you can see there was a lot more art drilling pages in spring. And I feel like it kind of just made it more daunting. And I always feel like, oh man, I have so much to do <laughs> with the art journaling because I don't tend to do it you know, I don't do it like two separate occasions every week. I end up kind of doing these like power sessions where I'm doing a lot at once. And so once I started realizing that that's what it was feeling like was, wow, I have a lot of work. That's not how I want people to feel. So I backed it down. I reduced the amount of art drilling pages, threw in some listing for fun. And so that was my, that was my whole, um, motivation for kind of switching things up, which I always try to switch things up when something could work better. When I have some insight into some, you know, and maybe improving it, I will always improve it. So you can see from like winter to summer, some of the subtle changes that we've made to like make it better. Um, here is the, the, my little memory keeping for June that I have to do. So you can see that, um, I have been filling in my pages and, um, really super excited about jumping into summer. It has a lot of new fun features in it. Super delicious, um, fun colors and fun things to record and remember. And I truly hope that if you have not tried a playbook that you give this one a try. Um, it is so much fun. You can bind it any way you wish. I, I chose the disc bound. Um, it is getting very, very fluffy. So I'm going to have to upgrade these discs um, pretty soon because it, once I add fall, it's going to be bursting. But I, that's my goal is I just wanted a really awesome fluffy book full of my work. I want that for everybody. So I will be um, doing a full flip through of my spring edition as soon as I complete it. You can see winter on the YouTube channel. The Crafty Club book just premiered. You can grab one in the uh, theresetgirl.com. We are going to be starting the new month of the playbook, July 1st. And we have a really fun live event on tonight, actually, Friday the 21st at 6 p.m. PST. We will be crafting in the Reset Girls Crafty Club on Facebook. And you can always catch the replay. If you're watching this later, a few days later, you can always watch the replay. Um, we put them back up on our YouTube channel like you're watching right now. And I wanna thank you so much for watching this video, supporting the Reset Girl, being part of the community. If you're not yet, I hope that you would. It's so much fun. We have such a positive, welcoming, friendly place. Um, where you can get your crafty on with friends. So thanks so much for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, everybody.